social inequality, <laughs> marital status, <laughs> pride, <laughs> prejudice, <laughs> deceit, <laughs> lies, and finally, love. Hi, I'm Magic Matt down here at the Pemberley Bookstore to talk to you guys about Pride and Prejudice, the classic novel written by Jane Austen herself. Now, let me tell you something. This amazing book right here, it's only going to be $4. That's right, $4. You know what else has four? Mr. Bennett's Ken, I'm telling you. It's a great book to read. You're just going to have to pick it up. Now, if you think I'm lying about these here prices, you're calling me Mr. Wickham to my face. I ain't lying about who I am. You might not understand that yet, but you pick up a copy of this here novel, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Now let me tell you something, if you're a hopeless romantic like myself, and you're deeply craving some love, then come on down and please pick up a copy of this here book. I'm telling you, it's got everything a man and a woman wants. It's got gossip, it's got juicy details, it's got, you know, deception of love and critters all over the place. I'm telling you something, all right? Now, I'm telling you, this love is from Elizabeth herself. You know what I'm talking about. And speaking of Elizabeth Bennett, we have a very special guest here. He's signing books and he agreed to do an interview with us. His name, well known around the here Pemberley bookstore, is Mr. Darcy himself. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for him. Darcy here. Now let me tell you something. When I first came to Pemberley, well, I came with my good old friend Mr. Bingley. And I really thought that this place had nobody. Nobody to love, nobody to live for. But... I found the one. Boy, did I find her. At first, I was a little bit like, mm, I don't know. But at the end, I was like, my, my. Well, so that's my story. You'll find out more about it if you read this book. This book is good, people. I'm talking, it is $4 for a good quality book. Mr. Darcy said, book's only $4, and it is great quality after all. So let me tell you something about it. I was 14 when I picked up this here book. I read it for the first time in my adolescent life and I said, wow, this book is phenomenal. It possessed me to give out this commercial to influence all of you young people and our older people, I don't care who the audience is, to come on down and buy this here Pride and Prejudice. Now let me tell you something about it. It's very ironic, all right? Very ironic. Elizabeth here, she wants a little bit she said, Mr. Darcy, he's like, oh, can I have a dance, Miss Elizabeth? And she says, no, okay? She tells him straight up out the text, no. Now, that's part of the gossip in the book I mentioned before in this here infomercial. Now, let me tell you something else. Mr. Darcy here, his prejudice says, I don't want none of y'all because you have poor social class. That is crazy. That's a little sneak peek just before he come on down to Pemberley Bookstore on 42nd Avenue, it, right there, all right? You understand what I'm saying. And it's right here, Pride and Prejudice. Read the title, memorize it, learn it, love it, live it. Now, I just explained to you why you need this book in your library and in your life. Magic Matt, signing off.